The new update's out and the mobile base, the Warhammer, is now here. So stay tuned because in this video we're going to give you our initial review and we're going to show you some tips and tricks for building on it. Our initial reaction is that it looks cool. This thing looks awesome. It takes a really long time to build, 10 minutes to build, about 15 seconds to place it down. It reminds me of the elephant from Halo 3, if you're familiar with that game. Now let's take a pop into the inventory. It can hold five sets of gas, so that's gonna be a thousand fuel, and it doesn't burn gas as fast as you might think it would. It's certainly not as good as the APC or other vehicles, but it's not absolutely terrible. This might change later, but right now it can have one passenger, and the passenger really can't do anything other than just sit in the vehicle. On top of the vehicle, there are two build pads, so you can build things on top of this, and then you can build floors around it, and we're going to go more in-depth on that here in a little bit. Driving the vehicle is not terrible. It accelerates very quickly downhill, and then you can feel the mass of the vehicle, because like right now, I just can't get the vehicle to slow down fast enough. But it has good control. The tracks really give it good traction going uphill. It has good control all around, and it's not so painful to drive, and it doesn't feel like some of the other vehicles in the game. All right, so building on it is interesting. So pay attention, because we're gonna give you some tips here that's gonna hopefully help you out. So you can build one item out on all sides except the back. All right, so I'm having trouble getting a top. That is something that we're gonna have to figure out how to fix on this, but you cannot put a stairwell down. The floor level is the lowest it can go. As far as building up, you can build up two blocks on all sides, remembering that you have to have a way to get in. As far as defenses go, you can place most of the turrets, you can place up to four, however, you cannot place the Felix or the Devastator Auto Cannon, which, you know, is obviously the best one that we have. Here you can see I get confused for a second. Look on the right side of the screen, you can only support 30 structures. So we're gonna go into further testing to figure out what does it define as a structure. But first, let's take it for a drive with our new built structure on top and just see what it really looks like. So it will go through walls. You cannot hit shift to change your viewpoint to being inside of it, but it will go through walls. It'll go through trees. It'll go through anything. So long as the vehicle itself does not make contact with whatever, whatever structure it might be. Having trouble getting in, so I'm trying to put a staircase on it. You cannot put anything below the build pad itself. The build pad is the base level and it can go up from two blocks from there. You can see even with my leveled up jump, I'm having trouble getting in this vehicle, but finally I do. Back to our point from earlier, your vehicle can only have 30 structures. 30 structures is anything that you're going to build. We went through and tested heaters, lights, defense, storage, tables. If you can build it, it will count as a buildable structure and it goes into your times 30 limit. So what is the summary for this vehicle? What is the best use for this vehicle? It's gonna be mass resource collection. However, there are some caveats to that. Once you put items on top and you build a structure on this vehicle, you cannot pick it up, which means you have to destroy everything and you lose half the resources every time you do that. This also means you have to manually repair this vehicle. You just can't pick it up and put it away like others. So you're gonna have to use the welding torch, which is gonna be very expensive and time consuming. Another very limiting factor is the fact that it can only have four turrets. And of those, you can't put the Devastator or the Felix on there, which really limits your defensive capabilities and makes it to where you kind of want to stay with your squad and someone else to have a tank to ensure that I don't get shot up in PVP. So my final verdict is it's awesome, it looks cool, but it's just not as practical as you would want it to be. It's gonna be so much resources just to keep the thing running, and it's too easy of a target for me to use it in PvP. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that subscribe button and follow along for more content from Off Duty Gaming.